Hello everybody, our lesson today is the area of a square. You have learned in Genie 4 some properties about the square. First, its side lengths are equal in length. For example, if we have AB 5 cm, so BC is 5 cm, DC is 5 cm, and AD is the same will be 5 cm. And you have learned how to get the area and the parameter of the square. Area equals side times side, or side length times side length, and parameter or P equal side times 4. Now we have a magic triangle for the rule of the parameter. We have P up and S times 4 down. Okay? If you want anything from the magic triangle, please hide it first. So, if you want to get side, please hide side. So, what is the rest now? B up and 4 down. So, S or side equal B over 4 or B divided 4. Now, mister, what is BD? What is the BD and EC? Yes. Right, AC and BD are the two diagonals of the square, okay, and they are equal in length. So if we have BD equals 6 cm, so AC will be 6 cm. So now in Genie 5, we have a new rule of the area. The new rule is A equal half times D times D. D, okay, is diagonal. A and D the other diagonal and they are equal in length so if D equal 5 so the other side will be 5 if D equal 6 so the other diagonal will be 6 okay now the question is mister how can I choose between the two rule of the area now we have two rules of the area we have a equal s times s and equal half times D times D okay simply if we have in the questions side length or any number related to the side lengths you will choose the first rule but if you have diagonal lengths okay in the questions you will use the second rule a equal half times d times d let's solve the first questions and see find each of the following question one a square of side lengths 10 centimeter find its area I have said for you if you want anything please write its rule first so a you want area a equal yes s times s o half times d times d mister we have side so I will write the first rule a equal s times s equal is equal what is equal 10 centimeter so area equal s times s equal 10 times 10 equal 100 centimeter square so I will write here the final answer let's move to the second one the area of a square he won the area of a square whose parameter is 40 centimeter now he wants what he wants the area so I will write the rule of the area okay which rule yes the same the first one because I have what parameter okay and the parameter we have the side inside this rule P equal side times 4 so I will write the first rule of the area a equal s times s but mister have we got the side length no we have only the parameter so the second question can we get can we get the side length from the parameter yes we have magic triangle up we can get the side from here so s equals height s what is the rest p up and 4 down so p over 4 b equal what yes b equal 40 and down 4 40 divided by 4 it will be yes 10 centi 
meter. Mister, have we finished the question? No, we only now okay, get the side, but we want to get the area. Area equals side times side. So the side it will be 10, so 10 times 10, it will be 100 centimeter squared. Let's move to the third one. The area of a square whose diagonal length is 12 cm. Yes, we have now diagonal length. So we will write the second rule of the area. A equals half times D times D. So area equal half times D times D. The diagonal length equal what? D equal 12 cm. So I will write half. In all question, will we write half? Yes, it's constant. Okay, half times twelve times twelve. It will be yes, seventy-two centimeter square. Let's move to the fourth one. If the area of a square is 49 centimeters squared, then it's a side length. Mister, he want what? Side. And he gives me what? Area. So, area equals side times side. Yes, the first true. A equal what? A equal 49. So, 49 equals side times side. So, Mister. How can I solve this question? Okay, it seems difficult, but no. 49 equals side times side. Okay, S is equal to S. If we have this 7, it will be 7, 6, it will be 6. So look up for the number. If you multiply it by itself, okay, the result will be what? 49. Again, which number? If we multiply it by itself, the number will be, or the result will be, 49. Yes? Right. 7 times 7. So, 49 equals 7 times 7. So, the side length equals 7 centimeter. Okay? But... We have another method by calculator to get the side length. Do you see this button? Okay. Press and write down the area. 49. Write here the area of a square. So the result will be what? 7 centimeter. You can check. Okay. By using a calculator. By this way. Again. Open your calculator, press this button right here, the area of a square, and the result will be the side. The next question If the area of a square is 18, then its diagonal length, he wants D. D equal what? And we have A equal half times D times D. Yes, of course. In this question, we will change the rule, okay, into 2a equal d times d to get the diagonal. Mister, what the meaning of 2a? 2a, it means 2 times a. So, a equal what? 18. So, 2 times 18 equal d times d 2 times 18 equal 36 equal d times d the same the two diagonals are equal in length so which number if we multiply it by itself we will get what 36 yes of course 6 yes so 
D oh, 36 equal 6 times 6 so D equal 6 centimeter also we can get it by using calculator put here not area okay but 2 times area okay 2 times 18 not 18 it will be 6 2 times the area okay 2 times 18 is 36 or 2 uh, I'm sorry 36 it will be 6 so you can put here 2 times area okay or the final answer of the area okay it will be 6 centimeter thank you